let's get started shall we in this video i'm going to walk you through how to use our digital notebook let's talk about what our digital notebook is a digital notebook is a virtual notebook that has many added benefits you can use it to take notes draw sketches and organize your thoughts To use the digital notebook, you will first need a tablet like an iPad, a stylus pen like an Apple Pencil, or if you like to type to take notes, a keyboard will be a good option too. Then you will need a PDF annotation app. Based on my experience, I find that you will get the best result using the GoodNotes 5 app. So I will mainly talk about how you can get the most out of the digital notebook using GoodNotes. You can definitely try other notes taking apps for your preference as well. There are five main benefits of digital notes taking on good notes compared to traditional notes taking. The first benefit is organization. With digital notes taking, you can easily categorize your notes and create different folders for different subjects. You can also use the search function to quickly find specific information within your notes. The second benefit is portability. This means that you can add the journals on the go without the need to carry around a heavy notebook or binder. Traditional notes taking is less portable, and you may have to carry around multiple notebooks for different subjects. The third benefit is flexibility. Goodness allows you to write or draw notes by hand, type notes, or even import images or PDFs. This gives you more flexibility in how you take and format your notes. You can also easily edit or rearrange your notes if needed. The fourth benefit is sustainability. Digital notes taking is more sustainable as it reduces paper waste. You can add unlimited pages in the notebook, back up your notes to the cloud, or export them as PDFs so you don't have to worry about losing your notes. The last main benefit is easy sharing and collaboration. You can share your notes as a PDF or GoodNotes documents with others, and they can access it on their own devices. Also, GoodNotes allows everyone to contribute and edit the same document, which is particularly useful in group work situations. In GoodNotes, you can create different digital notebooks for different subjects or purposes. You can choose from a variety of paper types, including lined paper, grid paper, and blank paper. However, the templates and notebook choices are limited within the GoodNotes 5 app. Also, they are missing one of the key factors, hyperlinks for easy access within the notebook. That's why people are purchasing some notebooks outside the app to enhance their notes taking experience. This is also the reason why I have created this digital notebook for people to get a better nurse taking experience with easy navigation and some additional covers and digital stickers to spice up their nurse taking game. Once you have purchased the digital notebook, you will get a notebook get starter guide. Open the file and click start. You will get a digital notebook, notebook covers, and two options for stickers. The first one is GoodNotes sticker book with pre copter stickers for easy access. The other one is individual PNG stickers which are grouped in separate folders. It also comes with user guides that will bring you to our website's user guide page. You can check out the guides to kickstart your game and I will keep updating some new information and FAQ here as well. You can always come back to this file and download the files unlimitedly. In the following video, I will go through these elements one by one to let you get the best notes taking experience in this notebook. You can just click the button on the guide to download all the files. It will then direct you to the browser. Simply click the share button to open on GoodNotes or you can save the files to a folder or location of your choice. To import the files on GoodNotes, simply click the insert sign and select import. Then bring out the files from your saved location. Once the file is imported, you can click the file name and rename it. 
Before jumping into the notebook, I would like to first mention the two main modes in Goodness in order to use this notebook. You can see the editing button at the top bar. This button allows you to switch between the editing mode and navigating mode. In editing mode, you can access all the tools in the toolbar. In navigating mode, you can use all the hyperlinks and navigations. I find that you can also use the hyperlinks in the writing mode by holding the hyperlink tab for a while and clicking open link to go to the corresponding page. But it will be not as smooth as you can get in the navigating mode. The navigation on the notebook is supported by the hyperlinks in the file. In the following, I will walk you through the navigation, but beforehand, I would like to first answer a frequently asked question. Can we take out the page in this notebook to an other file and still use the hyperlink? The answer is no, unfortunately, because all the hyperlinks are specifically created for this notebook. Therefore, the hyperlinks cannot be used in an other file. Now, let's jump into the fun parts of the notebook. On the front page, you can write your name and your main goal as a reminder. Then swipe and go to the home menu page. On the home menu page, there are 12 divided buttons. You can write the subject name on the button in the writing mode and tap the button to go to the corresponding divider in navigating mode. You can see the home menu button on the right bar for easy access. The right tabs appear on every page after the front page for easy access to the home menu, template menu, and 12 subject dividers. You can see there's no page after every divider. And the reason for that is we have provided you a template menu to customize the pages on this notebook. This can reduce the file size and prevent lagging while you are using the notebook. Therefore, you can have a smooth note-taking experience. You can easily go to the template menu by clicking the template menu three dots button. On the template menu, you can first choose the smooth or paper texture by clicking the letter S or the letter P icon. Then choose the colors by selecting the color icons. After that, choose the template for your preference. We offer different varieties of templates for you to choose from, such as the signature lines, dots, and grids options. There are also pronoun, column tables, and some weekly and monthly planner templates for you to use. Once you have selected the template of your choice, simply tap the template icon and it will take you to the corresponding page. Next, you will have to use the copy and paste function on Goodness to add the template to your preferred location. To do this, click the three dots at the top bar and press copy page. Then tap the divider button to go to the divider of your choice under the navigating mode. After that, select the insert template icon at the top bar, which is the add page option. Under the add page menu, you can choose to put your selected template before after or as the last page of the notebook. For now, as an example, we want to put the template after the divider, so we will select after. Now you can see the template is pasted after the divider. One of the convenient features of the add page function is that it will automatically add your current template as the first selection under the add page menu. Therefore, if you want to keep using this template on the following pages, you can pre-add the page in advance for future use. One of the benefits of goodness is you can add as many pages as you like in the notebook. If you have a frequently used template that you want to have quick access, you can go to the template and press the bookmark icon. It will turn red when the page is bookmarked. Then you can go to the thumbnail icon at the top left and select favorites. You will find all the bookmark pages in this session, and you can simply tap the thumbnail and go to the corresponding page for easy access. The copy and paste page function can also apply to adding a cover to your notebook as well. After downloading the cover files and sharing to Goodness, you can open the cover file and go through the PDF one by one, or you can have a quick scheme by clicking the thumbnail icon to choose. Once you have chosen the cover you like, simply copy and paste the cover before the front page of your notebook. Then you can also see the cover on the home page. 
in my updated notebook package version, I have also provided all the covers in a separate PDF format, so you can simply select the cover in advance. If you accidentally move a page to trash, no worries. You can go to the home page of Goodness, then select setting and go to the trash bin. Simply click the page you just deleted and recover it. Then the page will be back to the file. One of the fun ways of using digital notebook is you can use digital stickers to add more style to your notes. In the Get Started Guide, you can see there are two formats of stickers for you to use. The first format is the Goodness Precarded Stickers. Simply download the file and open it on Goodness. The sticker file is hyperlinked, so you can go to different colors or styles by tapping the icons. In Goodness, you can copy and paste things across files. Therefore, you can easily copy the sticker from the sticker file to your notebook. First, go to the editing mode. There are two tools to copy the stickers. The first tool is the lasso tool. You can select the lasso tool in the toolbar. Then, simply encircle the sticker. You don't necessarily need to encircle the whole sticker, but just one part of it can work. After that, tap on it and some further options will appear. Select Copy, go to your notebook page, tap and hold, then you will see the Paste option appears. Select Paste, then you successfully copy and paste the sticker. Furthermore, you can use the Lasso tool to move around and resize the sticker. More than that, when you tap the Lasso tool, you can choose what to select or unselect while using the lasso tool. This is really useful when you have written something in a note sticker and you want to move around just the words but not the sticker or you want to move around just the sticker but not the words. The second tool to move around the stickers is the image tool, which is similar to the lasso tool. First, select the image tool in the toolbar Tap the sticker and tap again to select copy. Then tap and hold to paste the sticker. Similar to the lasso tool, you can also select, move around and resize the sticker as well. A resize button will appear at the bottom right of the sticker when you select it. There are also in the feature stickers included in the Get Started Guide. The stickers are grouped in the corresponding folders you can download your chosen folders, then share and preserve it down to your tablet in a folder or location of your choice. After that, select the image tool to insert the sticker from a safe location. You can play around with the stickers like what we have just mentioned before. A special goodness tip is that if you have some frequently used stickers, you can use the lasso or image tool to select the sticker, tap again for further options, and select add element. You can create a new collection to group the stickers you always use. After that, you can have easy access to your frequently used stickers by going to the Elements tool. You can easily find the sticker in the collection you just created at the bottom of the element menu. I hope you find this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. Bye!